Good morning, good people. <laughs> I have been MIA for the last couple days. Welcome back to another vlog. That's right. I just hit puberty right now. Where have I been? Well, that's a great question. Is the sun better this way? Sort of, kind of. Um, basically, I had my little come out here uh, in the last four days. And I did not vlog that because no, I don't. I don't vlog some things. Some things I do. Some things I don't. Obviously, I told you about the 80/20 split. Uh, I wanted to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with my little one, without the camera, without the vlog, without the pressure of trying to, you know, come up with content for the vlog and yada yada yada. Even though, you know, don't really try that tremendously hard. I just don't want the camera there. It's just a one-on-one -on -one thing with me and my little one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's been a couple hours. Uh, and I do mean a couple hours. Um, essentially, all day long. Uh, you might be asking, what the f*** did you do all day? I'll tell you what I did. Uh, laundry. laundry. Oi, so, um, I just realized that we haven't had a conversation for quite some time. And I thought, let me give you guys a small little update about what's been happening with me. Um, let's see, first things first. A buddy of mine, who, really great guy, uh, who shall name, or remain, remain nameless, wow, English. Um, well, he basically has hired me. He gave me my first gig, my first like, paying photography slash filmography gig. He's hired me to go to some of his practices. He does uh, he does a certain sport, which again, uh, I'll just say martial arts. And um, I basically, he wants me to film and take pictures of him uh, while he's at practice because he wants to build up his socials again and he wants to build his website. And I thought, this is awesome. Now, mind you, I think he knows I would do it for free, um, but he wants to offer me like, 50 bucks every Friday, so like 100 bucks every two weeks to film him. And I thought, okay, I'll do it. Also, uh, about like a vlog or so ago, it was like turning like thanks, not Thanksgiving, Woo, wow, no, Valentine's. So uh, I have an interesting Uber story from Valentine's. It was, huh, it, it was, nah, okay. So this is basically what happened. What happened was, huh, never start a story like that by the way. I went to go pick somebody up at a resort local to the Springs, right? And it was, it was a lady, a nice 50 year old lady from what I remember, 54. But she was really, really nice and she had her bags. I'm thinking, oh, you know, the Uber app doesn't really tell you where they're going, but I need to pick her up and I thought, oh, she's going to the airport. Well. Click on it. No, she's going to Pueblo. It's a city about maybe 45 minutes away from where I'm at. So we were having conversations and whatnot. And you know, it's nighttime. It's around nine or 10 o'clock, not 10, about 10, 10, 30. I think I hear sniffling in the back. And I'm like, oh, okay, hey, would you like a napkin or anything? Do you have a stuffy nose? I know it's really cold out there. You know, just being, trying to be polite, being honest. And it wasn't that, it wasn't that, it was that she was kind of crying a little bit. So, like me personally, huh, I, 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 I like to almost say I'm an asshole, plain and simple, I am. But I'm not that much of an a-hole. So I asked her what's happening, or if you're comfortable, please, you know, I'll, I'm, we have some time in the car together, I'll listen. She began to tell me the story of how her Valentine's Day weekend just went to crap. Basically, she's been talking to this guy on and off for quite some time, kind of going out with him on and off for quite some time. Um, he kind of asks her and begs her to come to this resort uh, down here in the Springs. Now, mind you, she lives in Pueblo. That's about 45 plus minutes away, and give or take how far it is, West Pueblo. All right, um, she tells me that, you know, throughout the weekend, they were 
staying in the hotel, um, uh, you know, enjoying the resort, which obviously that's good. So that evening they went to, they were going to go to dinner and um, he had ordered dinner to come to the room. That's great. You know, that's good stuff. Well, throughout the evening while they were in the room, he kept checking his phone and out of the blue, his phone just goes off. Boom. Right. And he looks at his phone. She tells me, this is what he did. He looked at his phone. He said, I got to go. Grabs his phone, grabs his keys, leaves. Leaves the hotel room before the food gets there. Five minutes go by, 10 minutes go by, 30 minutes go by, nada, zero, zip, zilch. Dude does not come back at all. Uh, she did not feel right about staying in the hotel room she could have she honestly could have but she did not feel right about staying in the hotel room so she packed up her stuff and she left she called an uber i'm going home um and she was crying because it's like this was supposed to be the year their like valentine's day weekend he had wanted to do x y and z planned it out convinced her the whole nine yards but he basically just ditched her like just, I mean, dude left, didn't say anything. She told me he didn't say anything. I got to go, grabbed the stuff and was out the door, did not come back. She said she waited for an hour. The food got there, nothing. I'm thinking, holy crap, that's messed up. And got an Uber, got in my car. It's already been maybe two or three hours, more or less give or take how long she took to pack and Uber and yada, yada, yada. Um, no phone call, no text, no email, no smoke signal, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I'm thinking to myself, this is F the hell up. And she's like, it's my fault really because, you know, I, I do this to myself with this guy and I'm talking to him on and off and yada, yada. I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm just not good enough to be, stop. That's my line. Let's cut it. Um, I basically said, look, ma'am, with all due respect, you are a beautiful young lady. And this gentleman is an idiot. He doesn't know. He, he doesn't know anything, plain and simple. He is, I, mean, I, I and I'm, I told her, I'm being as respectful as possible and even, call, and even calling him a gentleman because what he did was some kid cartoon not, just just rude and disrespectful as I'll get out like you don't do that to somebody you just don't you don't do that to somebody and you know she was saying thank you like no really and I I began to just be very encouraging I began to just tell her hey you know that's don't feel bad about yourself because you didn't do anything wrong first and foremost and secondly you are good enough uh, you are more than good enough. You are a beautiful young lady. I said, you know what? If it were up to me, I'd take you on a doggone date, take you out to dinner, and, you know, show you a nice time. <laughs> she was very thankful for that. Um, very thankful. And, you know, we were just talking. And, again, I'm just trying to... I think, to me, I was just trying to do the right thing. You know, trying to be encouraging and saying, look, you know, what that guy did was a no-go. You didn't do anything wrong whatsoever. He was just, a, you know, he's a douchebag, plain and simple. He's a schmuck. Um, well, we got to her place. I helped, you know, I got her bags out of the back of the vehicle, helped her. She asked me to help her to the door. I helped her to the door. And um, <laughs> she tried to lay one on me and I was like, ma'am, I'm sorry. She's like, well, am I too old? I said, no, 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 no. It's not that you're too old. It's, I, I was just, say, I think maybe this is my fault because maybe I led you on by accident or, you know, maybe I wasn't trying, I was trying to relay, you know, be encouraging and maybe I relayed something incorrectly. Like, I apologize. This is 100% my fault. I said, if you want, I'll cancel the ride. No charge to you whatsoever. She's like, no, 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 don't even do that. Matter of fact, give me a second. She gives me like a, $12 tip in cash and then 
you know, uh, again, I'm, ap I'm apologizing. Like, okay, maybe I miscommunicated. Maybe I said something wrong to lead you on. And she's saying, no, don't worry about it. I'm just, I guess I'm just lonely. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, ma'am, it's, again, you didn't do anything wrong. It was him. It was him. It was all him. He did the wrong thing. You know, and then, you know, she asked for a hug. So I gave her a nice little hug. And um, I get back in my car. And not even five minutes later, the app pops up. Boop. I got a $20 tip from her. Huh. <laughs> I was like, this is not necessary at all. Like this is, I mean, I appreciate it. I do, I appreciate it, but it wasn't necessary. So I guess moral of the story is guys, don't be jerks. Like leave, don't leave, leave that stuff. Don't be jerks to women. Like, I mean, don't do that kind of stuff. That's not cool. Like, and I don't want to sound like the kettle corn on the pot black. Cause I know I've, I've had my faults. I have my failures and my faults and I have a bunch of stuff that I've done and I, I, I'm doing the best I can to work on it. I really am. To, to be better, do better and progress and whatnot and get away from all that kind of nonsense. But I mean, let's be honest, I'm like perpetually single, but that's a different conversation. But again, guys, let's, let's be better. Let's be better guys. Let's be, you know, stand up guys. Let's be gentlemen, you know. Let's let's whatever happens to chivalry, you know what I'm saying? Like and I mean, I know in this day and age it's kind of hard because maybe certain individuals, certain women look at it as, you know, you think I'm weak, I can't do it for myself. No, 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 no. It's nothing to do with you. It's the fact that this is how I was raised, you know, to open a door, pull out a chair, you know, simple things like that. Yes sir, no ma'am, thank you. Please just simple things like that. You know, it's the right thing to do. It's the polite thing to do. You know, it's it signifies that I have good home training. So, but yeah, guys, let's get better. Let's be better. Because really, that that was just horrible. I still feel kind of bad because I feel like maybe I said something. I don't know. Boy, what's happening, good people? <sighs> I'm a little tired. Yeah, I'm wearing a different hoodie. I'm a little tired. I'm uh, taking this kid out to walk. It's about nine something in the evening. I am actually tired. We finished watching The Umbrella Company or The Umbrella, the Umbrella Academy on Netflix, which that was actually pretty good. I liked it. Uh, very, it was, as far as superhero shows go, it was probably the most realistic, to be honest. I thought it was really, really good. Uh, now we, uh, we're finishing up season one of Penny Dreadful, which I learned apparently way, way, way back in the day. Penny Dreadfuls were like little mini newspaper clippings, like little ads, like writing little horror stories on them. And this is where that comes from. So I, that's pretty cool. But as you can hear, we're, uh, out in the snow. He's going potty. Hey, get out of there. Move, move. This kid, see if you can see him a little bit. There he is. Uh, he melting the snow one pee at a time. Yeah, the snow is pretty much like frozen. So now it's just crunching on really hard ice. It's essentially, it's annoying, but it's fun, more or less. It's just really cold on my feet uh, anyway we're gonna I'm gonna sign off because I'm gonna take them to go potty or finish it up get back in the house watch like one more season of Penny Dreadful oh that my asshole has something to say and then um yeah and then go to bed because tomorrow's Monday 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 anyway out of here